Um, Locard, Locard's transference theory is um, the cornerstone of all trace evidence, and it basically states that anytime you come into contact with an object, you leave something of yourself and you take something of that object with you. So when you hug your sainted old grandmother and she's wearing her Angora sweater, some of the fiber from the sweater is going to come off on you and some of the fiber from whatever you're wearing is going to go off on her. Um, you're constantly shedding hair and skin cells everywhere. Dust is like mostly skin cells. Um, so you're leaving little traces of yourself everywhere you go, even right now when you leave this room. Um, you know, some of you guys are going to, and you're all looking around all weird now. So. Um, <laughs> But um, you're gonna and you're gonna take traces of this carpet off with you on your shoes as you walk out. Yeah. Fracture matching. There's there's all kinds of like little things you can ever hear about. But fracture matching is um, you tear a sheet of paper. You can always match one torn half back to the other half. If I tear another sheet of paper, you know, the same way I did this one, it's not gonna be exactly the same. And the best case of this one that I ever heard was. Um, they found a body in a dumpster, and the body was in six different trash bags. It was chopped up and put in six different trash bags. And as they were processing the evidence, they take out the body parts, they're left with the trash bags, and the perforations on the bottom of the trash bag, each one of those little perforations is a tiny little fracture match. So they're able to get those trash bags and line them back up in the sequence they came out of the original box of trash bags. So now they've got like six trash bags in a, uh, in a row, in the order they came out of the box. So what are they going to look for? They're going to look for the box, the suspect that's got a box of similar trash bags somewhere in his house, and they're going to try to match the last bag that was pulled off that they found the body in to the next bag in this box of trash bags. The other thing was um, striations. As, um, trash bags are, are made in, I guess, an extrusion process, and they're kind of pulled through a machine. That machine leaves scratches, microscopic scratches on the surface that will run across the entire length of the entire, you know, you ever pull out like 10 of them at a time and they're all connected like that? They all have little scratches running across them and then they all have these little perforations connecting them. So they were able to match the trash bags by those striations going across the wall. But then they were also, you know, when they had a suspect, and again, you always got to have a suspect. This stuff doesn't just, you know, materialize. They were able to match all the little perforations down the trash bag um, from the last trash bag they found in the body to the box of trash bags that they found in the guy's house because he hadn't torn off another one since disposing of the body. So they, will, they were able to match those back and that was what um, ultimately did that guy in. Little things like that they don't think 